and brings into question her boyfriend's devotion. Hoping to gain the truth of what is really going on, Renee calls on cheaters for an accurate examination. About a couple of months ago, um, he's just been really pushing away from me. Um, we, we was living together, but um, he told me he needed to move downtown that way he could be closer to his job and to his school. I was helping, you know, pay his way through school. And, you know, it's just all of a sudden it's just going left. Um, you know, he's going out with his friends all the time, don't want to invite me. You know, he's staying up to like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning on Facebook. And I'm like, you know, why are you not on the phone with me? He doesn't want to make love to me anymore. You know, he'll try to hurry up and do it, and, like, I'm done and I'm asleep. Or if I come in the house, he'll be so-called sleep. And it's starting to just really just piss me off. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, okay, either you're going to tell me something or we, we about to go at it. Recently, I found a pair of underwear in his car. They were about that damn big. And I'm not big at all. I'm not, I'm not big at all. And I asked him about it, and he was like, oh, that's my sister's. Oh, and then I asked him a week later, I was like, well, what happened to the underwear that was in your car? Oh, my grandma took them back. But last week, you just told me that they was your sisters. Investigation day one. Upon receiving their marching orders from headquarters, perimeter units hit pay dirt on their first day of surveillance. They spot the suspect, whose identity remains withheld, exiting the hospital where he works with a woman in tow. The two make their way across the parking lot and into the suspect's automobile. With only an hour for lunch, the couple is followed to a nearby fast food establishment. Mobile units finally get a good look at the suspect's unknown female companion as they walk across the parking lot and into the restaurant. Through the windows, agents track the couple until they settle into a booth. The two eat their value meals and enjoy each other's company. Afterward, the two exit while eating their frozen dairy desserts and cuddled in each other's arms. The suspect opens the door for his lunchtime companion before returning her to her car. The suspect helps her into the passenger seat and leans in for a long and lingering kiss goodbye. She drives off and the suspect returns to work for the remainder of the day. Investigation Day 2. Perimeter units again spot the suspect and his companion, now identified only as Ashley, as they exit the hospital. The suspect gently escorts her into the passenger seat of his car before driving to the same fast food restaurant from previous surveillance. They enter, and after getting their food, sit side by side in a booth. They share a couple of intimate moments in between bites of their burgers, ultimately culminating in a number of playful kisses. Once filled with food, they exit. Ashley appears to purposefully drop her keys so her medical man can examine her posterior. After enjoying his eye full, the suspect and his companion return to the hospital and walk holding hands inside to continue working for the rest of the day. Investigation Day 5. Breaking from the pattern of lunchtime trysts, agents see Renee's boyfriend and Ashley exiting the hospital after work. Once clear of prying eyes at work, the two feel free to walk along the sidewalk with their arms around each other, oblivious to the fact that detectives are capturing every detail of their affectionate interaction. Mobile units follow the couple's caravan to a nearby pizza pub. The two head inside and find the pool table open for play. While the suspect is all too eager to point out the angles of the game, making sure Ashley's stance is perfect, it's Renee who's behind the eight ball, as evidenced in this recorded phone call. <laughs> Hello? Hey, hey, what's up, man? What you laughing at? Oh, no, nah, I was talking about my homeboys. We're going to uh, head to the gym right quick. Okay, you about to hit the gym and then go to lunch? Yeah. Why? You never, you've never done that. I'm trying, you know, bring sexy back a little bit, you know. Okay, so you must think I'm dumb. I'm not doing no, that. No, no. Nah, I'm not doing no. this right now. No, no. As the suspect proves the might of his love to Ashley, investigators deem the case closed and return all evidence to headquarters. To be for the real truth, Renee braces herself for the unpleasant revelations. Renee, 
It's a pleasure to have you out here with us today. Thank you. How are you doing? Not too good. Not too good? No. Well, our investigation revealed some pretty interesting things. Would you like to take a look? <sighs> okay. All right. On this day of investigation, your boyfriend emerges out of his medical building with an unknown female. They get into his vehicle together. Wow, the vehicle that I'm paying for, okay. They fall to a local fast food restaurant where we see the both of them get I out mean, together. I mean, like, is she cute? No. Like, she's not even nothing. They're sitting apart from each other, looking like they're enjoying themselves. A short time later, they exit together. Really? So you can be seen with her, but you can't, you don't want to go out with me? He actually just opened the door for her. <sighs> and they drive off together. It, like, it's on, it, it's on, it's on. He parks on the street, gets out of his car with her, walks over, opens the door for her, and gives wow. her a Wow, okay, so now you really want your ass beat. Okay. And he actually reaches in for a second one, so you know. Wow. Our investigation has actually indicated a little bit more of something interesting. We found out that they actually work together. Wow, so I thought there was no girls that worked at his office. From um, what I was told, that's what he told me. And on this day in investigation, they exit together, arm over shoulder, holding hands. Like, you can't be serious. You can't be Walks serious. her to her car, he gets into his car. They follow each other to a local bar. So you can go to the bar with her, but not me. Wow, okay. He doesn't take you out to the bar or anything? No, no night scene? Not, not anymore, he doesn't. Lying ass cheater. And he seems to be giving her a type of pool lesson. Does he even play pool? No, he doesn't. Oh, hell no, I've seen enough. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? You want to find out That's where he's at? That's all I want to know. Where is he at? Where is he at? Please tell me. Okay. Please tell me. Let's call Detective Gomez, and we'll find that out right, right away. Yeah, we need to know right now. Okay. Right now. Right now. He messing with the wrong one. He already know. <laughs> Jesus. It's okay. Okay, Detective Gomez? Yeah. It's Clark. I just want to see if we had a location on our suspect. Great. Okay. We'll be there soon. So they're together. They're in her vehicle. Are you ready to go get him? I'm ready. Okay. Let's, Come Let's on. go. Let's go. Six months years? Are you serious? But what, what she don't know is that he has nothing. Everything that he has, I've, I've done for him. Basic, he has nothing. Basically, you wear the jewels of his I around wear, your neck. I wear everything. I wear the drawers. I wear the pants. I'm like the male in, in the relationship. I should be the one out cheating. That could be the way he values her, in essence. Like I said, I hope that dollar was worth it. I hope that dollar and seven cents, because that's how much the uh, the uh, double cheeseburger costs. I hope it was worth it, because this over here, no, this is close. This is close. He, oh, he didn't up. It's, it's over. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give Detective Gomez a call. Okay. And just make sure that we are good to go. Yes. Okay. Our Detective Gomez is on the corner. He's actually going to wait for us to come in. And and Ashley are actually eating inside the... Again? Wow. Thank you so much, Detective Gomez. Pull up to the back I'll meet you there. All right, great. They're sitting inside. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. So, so really? Really? Wow. Let's go to the back. Okay. Okay, so you want me to get out this car. No, he wants me to jump out this car. That's what the f he wants me to do. He want me to hop, skip, and jump. Okay, well, you know. All right. Let's go. All right, let's move. Load out, load out, load out. Everybody out, everybody out. This window right here. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're gonna have to get in this window and get in there fast. Okay. All right. We ready? So they're gonna see us right here. Give me one second. Let me open the door and you come right in. And make a U turn. You'll see him wearing a purple top and some black scrubs. Right? Okay. I'm missing through the glass. I know you sure can. Let's go. Right this way. Outside, man. 
these motherfuckers out here. Talking me down, yeah. really? Better not take like, no like, ass. Really? Maybe we'll walk out of here with that. You for real? For real? This for real? For real? For over, real. over this? Really? Over that? <laughs> Bitch, don't touch me. Six Man, years? Six 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 years? You you gonna take this home? Yeah. Did you just show this home that you got a car? I gotta hear your you side of the story. You gotta tell me what's like, like, really? No, no, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the, no. Six years, bitch. You've had no six idea? Years. Well, he ain't talking about six months. Years. Six hey, you didn't? Hey, and then, hey, and then hey, you chill go out, defend man. this bitch? Chill out, man. Then you go chill defend out, man. this for real. bitch? Like, for real? Really? Like, you're bull****. You're bull****. No. Bo that hard for this? Coming up next, the conclusion. And Ashley are actually eating inside the... You have no idea anything about her that she was his, her his girlfriend. Hey, that's that's real. Go, go out of here. Do you know how you know how we go? Do you not know who she is? Adam, what the she got? I'm not even about. She got that alpha gun. Oh, you know what you know? Got an education. That's what. I do got a motherfucking education. Where's that? Where? I got a good job. What the? I'm a motherfucking manager. What the are you doing? Oh, manager. I pay for your. I pay for your. Where my keys? Where my keys? Give me the keys. Right here. Get, get. Get him. Hey, man. Hey, what's cute? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, so who are, so who are you? Who are you? Who are you? He ain't told me nothing about you, I'm his girl. No, you're not his girl. We've been together for six years. I pay for his shit. That he got off, I pay for This is probably what the y'all, y'all having a buffet over here? So, this is my fight, man. I just need to hear your side of the story. There's no side of the story. So. The other six years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get my education. Yeah, she helped me out with that. You know what I'm saying? But she wasn't really about some. She wasn't doing nothing with her life. So I had to on. I asked her to come to the crib. She wasn't coming to the crib. I want the keys to my apartment. I want the keys to my car. Go get them. Get them. Take this out. Maybe this is my blues, clues. Take this out. This is my. Take this out. All that. All that. My. I'm for your ass. You ain't paying. You my. I pay for you. I need to hear the rest of the story, man. So wait. So I just gotta hear the rest of the story. So look, you went to medical school. I went to medical school. Did my talk about nine seals sitting at the crib. She wasn't about. I ain't about. What? Are you serious? So let's just say if you have to make a choice right now, man. I'm not about. I'm not about. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm good. I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Sure. I don't want that. I'm good. He did want. Because he no, was with actually, me. Actually, he did it. Obviously, he actually, did it. He did it. Actually, he did it. Actually, he did it. He was Bitch, I had him for six years. You, you been eating my mother. You been eating my mother. Dude, any of them. Man, these females full of drama. Man, I'm going to find me a white chick, man. Bitch, bring me back all my that I ain't bought you. I want my jag. I want my forces. I want everything off your mother. Because I'm paying for your ass, bitch. But what about the other three days, man? I ain't even been with you. I ain't even been with you for the last six months. I I own you. I own you. You don't own you. You don't own your ass. You don't own. Got through school. Great. I made you. Yeah. I made you. I got you an education. Great. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have no education. You want my education? It was all real man will fight for what he wants. Done. You want? You want it? Do you want it? What's up? I got me a notebook. What you think? I got me a notebook. I got me a notebook. You can have that dusty bitch right there. Whatever, bitch. Whatever. Honestly, he didn't you. Some real. Some real. Go ahead, get you a new suit and pay for all that. Get you some new shoes, new glasses, some Gucci. Go away. Go away. Don't you worry about it. But that's okay. All your about to be bleach. Money's the answer for every thing. Bleach. Hey, go ahead and hold paper.
nigga head. It doesn't matter. Why the f a man? Come on. That's why I'm, he ain't gonna slap. He ain't gonna slap. Upgrade your wig, bitch. bitch Upgrade your bitch, wig. Bitch, 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 Hey, get, get the no cameras idea. out of here, man. Get the cameras out of here, man. Like, we're not even doing this right now. I ain't even doing this right now. Everything you got, I pay for. But that's okay because that don't get cut the off. I owe you. Remember that. I owe you, bitch. Come get it. I'm taking everything. Absolutely. That's mine. He's mine. I own him. Get the camera out of my face. Hey, for real. Get the camera out of my face. I'm not playing with you, man. Don't touch the camera. Get the camera out of here. Get out of the way. Don't get out of, get, out of, get out of here with that. Man, get out of here. My name is tatted on him. That's my Your name I is tattooed on that yes. man? My name is tatted on him. That's mine. That bitch don't know. She was eating my mother this morning, earlier, when you was kissing that bitch. That's my all up in his mouth. That's okay, because it's game time, baby. It's game time. He okay. just don't know. He just don't know. You mess with the wrong bitch today. I'm Joey Greco, and thank you for tuning in to another installment of Genius. Please meet Tiffany Willis a woman who struggles with doubts about her boyfriend's fidelity. Ready to discover if her anxiety has merit, Tiffany contacts cheaters to get to the heart of the matter. Mark and I met about six and a half years ago when I was in high school. I basically married my high school sweetheart. We've been married for a little over a year and a half. And just lately, he just, he really seems very distant from me. He's been playing on the computer a lot. He's always been a computer person. But just here lately, it's just, I'm going to bed by myself while he's up all night playing on the computer. I started going through his computer and finding all these MySpace accounts and Facebook and stuff saying that he's single. When I found out, I tried to take the internet out of my house and tried to cut it out. And he just went behind my back and got a wireless card. If he's even talking to me, it just seems like we're either fighting or he's just saying just the ugliest things to me. And I'm just, it's not the person that I married. Well, just with everything that's going on, I really feel like it's my fault. Like I've done something wrong. I just, I really hope that it's just my imagination and that he's not cheating on me. It would just, it would break my heart if I found out that he was. And I don't know if we could overcome that if that is the case. And I just, I love him and I just really hope it, I really hope that he's not doing what I think he's doing. In more ways than one. Investigation day four. Getting the call from headquarters, field agents go to the suspect's workplace where cheaters mobile operatives jump into action for a quick chase to a nearby bar. After exiting the vehicle, suspect Mark Shapiro walks confidently inside. Cheater's agent spots Shapiro sitting at the bar alone. He impatiently checks his watch repeatedly. Later, Shapiro gets up to leave and heads to the parking lot. Suddenly, an unknown female runs up to greet him. Apparently upset by her tardiness, Shapiro tries to leave, but she begs him to stay. And after a brief exchange, he relents and they head back inside. The suspect and his companion share a drink and get better acquainted. Upon finishing their libations, Shapiro and his companion take off to their next destination, which happens to be the back seat of Shapiro's pickup truck. After a brief time behind fogged windows, the pair reemerge and go their separate ways. Investigation Day 8. Agents follow suspect Shapiro as he trucks along the asphalt. Cheaters' operatives follow the suspect to a movie theater. On his way to the ticket booth, Shapiro meets his companion, identified only as Gwen. They hug and kiss hello before entering to catch a flick. A few hours later, they exit and hop into his truck. After a brief pursuit, the pair arrive at the house Shapiro shares with... some time. Shapiro and Gwen finally emerge and he returns his companion to her humble abode. Investigation Day 10. P.I.s stake out the Shapiro home and soon their patience pays off as Shapiro's companion approaches and enters the apartment. 
Motion-sensitive cameras placed inside by a lovesick Wendy capture Shapiro and his companion sharing a romantic dinner. The twosome eat their food and toast to each other. After dinner, they clean up the dining area and set up a webcam in the bedroom. Using the key logger placed on his computer by Wendy, agents find the website that is streaming the webcam and begin capturing the footage. Once online, Gwen begins to undress and puts on a little show for cyberspace. Soon enough, she gets Shapiro into the act. Shapiro shatters his marital vows in this recorded phone call with Wendy. Hey, baby, what are you doing? Doing some laundry and chilling out. Are you, uh, you working late? Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be here until around 11 or so. Until 11? Okay. So you probably get home like 11. In the middle of their performance, the couple hear Wendy pulling up outside. With Wendy fast approaching, the companion gathers her things and sneaks out the back. Shapiro straightens up and takes a seat just before his wife walks in. Having unveiled Shapiro's secret life, Cheater's Intelligence requests PIs return to headquarters for debriefing. Coming up, the confrontation. Toward accepting the truth. Wendy, thanks for being with us tonight. I know that what brought you here were concerns about what was taking place in your relationship with Mark. Well, Wendy, I'm not going to take any more time. I know that our investigators do have some information that they thought it'd be important for you to see. Are you prepared to take a look at that now? Yeah. As our investigation began, we followed Mark as he left work on this evening to a bar he spends a substantial period of time there alone as he went to leave there's a woman that approaches him in the parking lot by the way they greet one another it did appear that this was the person that he might have been waiting for they go inside have some drinks but as they leave later they both get into his pickup truck. Wow. I know it's difficult to see there. After some time inside the cab, they exit, she departs, and he departs. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> on this evening, based on information that you shared with us that you're going to be occupied. Our detectives were stationed outside of your home. Your husband didn't leave, but this woman did show up at your home. And with the hidden cameras that were inside, we were able to capture the two of them, takes out his notebook, sets it up in front of the two of them. Now, I want you to pay close attention as he's cavorting with this young woman. There's a noise. It's obvious that someone is approaching. He shuffles this woman out the back, straightens up, and this is shortly before you walk in. Are you kidding me? No. I know that you've had concerns in the past. We have detectives outside your home monitoring Mark's movements and his internet activity. We know that this woman arrived at your home not long ago. I'm gonna call the detective now, see if he can give me a status update and then we'll figure out where to go from there, okay? okay. Yeah. Are they still there? Okay, all right. They're still at the house. 
All right, we're gonna head there now. I just want to call our detective and let them know we're on our way. Yeah. They're still at the house. They haven't left, but they just logged onto the internet. The detectives picked up a live feed of them. They're on the webcam. The detectives are gonna wait for us outside. Okay, we'll be right there. Coming up, the conclusion. They're still at the house, but they just logged onto the internet. What the f is going on? What the f are you thinking? What the f? Hey, what are you doing to my f house? What the f are you doing to my house, bitch? What the f? This is your wife? This is your wife? What the f? Bitch is your wife? What the general principle why would you I need to why would you to webcam why would you record and webcam something new that you should Cheaters, you want to show? What? <laughs> Look me up on MySpace. <laughs> it was stupid of me. It was stupid of me. I made a mistake. I'm gonna run you over with my car. Get him out of my please, house. Please. Just get him out of my house. Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, that's it. I'm done. I want him out of my house. I want him out and I want him gone. Get, get out of my face, man. I want his out. You following me all this time? Is that the story, huh? No, watch out. Watch out. Baby, please. Don't do no. this. No, you pack your or I'll do it for you. I want you out. Don't do this, baby. Come no. on. No. I'm not wasting my life with somebody who's going to a bunch of nasty bitches while I'm at work trying to support your ass. No. You want to spend all our money on the internet bull? No. You. You take your and you get the out. Now. Baby, please. Get out before I call the cops. Because that's it. I'm done. Enough said. That's it. Get the f out. Go call your whore. I'm sure she's waiting for you. Why don't you make a webcam show out of that? Get on my face. Congratulations. I just want him going. I'm not going to sit on the sofa. 
wrestles with her grim situation. Stay tuned as Cheaters unveils her plan. But now meet Brandon, former suspect from the Lola Burroughs case. Brandon returns to discuss how it all went down the night he was confronted on Cheaters. I thought it was like a drug bust or something, but I don't do drugs, so I really didn't know what it was. I was just surprised, you know. I was kind of mad, you know, because I'm like, why did you get somebody to follow me when you could have just asked me? We talked about everything else. She should have already knew it wasn't going right anyway, you know. What are you doing, Brandon? What the hell? What is this? What are you doing? Hold on, you going to break Get that camera out of my face. Who, who is she? She went to her she's house? A, she's a friend of mine. Nah, I ain't cheated on Lola with um, old girl I was with, but I might have cheated on her before I got with old girl. Basically, like, the relationship wasn't really going like it was at first anyway, you know? Wasn't having fun and that. She always wanted to study, so I was like, well, you know, if she wants to study, I'll let her handle her business. I'll do my own thing. You know, we just hanging out and everything, having fun, you know? He said he was bored. Who they are you? <laughs> yeah, they're you? here just saying you. Who's you with my man? Don't worry about that. Why are you with my man? Why are y'all at my house? We just house? hanging out. He don't you know, I guess you bored with you, I guess. You know, I got my own place now. I moved out. She was doing her own thing with school. But um, I heard she was trying to holler at my dad for a little while. She said my dad was trying to holler at her. But I ain't really cool with him anyway, so I don't care about that. But um, he told me, he was like, she called him or whatever, trying to talk to him. I know he wouldn't holler at her. She ain't his type. It's oh, man. Oh, you still what you really? ain't working out. It's I'm calm and I'm ready to go home. Separate them. Separate them. <laughs> At first, I thought it was going to mess up my little rep or whatever, but actually, you know, now since females know how I am, I don't take no you know, BS. Most of them like that. They like that thug in their life or whatever, and the dude that don't take no stuff. So actually, my female meter went up a little bit. Yeah. 